Welcome back for Ten Tuesday. I believe this is episode six. I have lost track. And we were up to uh daylight battle on deck. Here we go. You may recall last time we we're following this guy, and I almost fucked it up, but I managed to succeed at the very last second. And so here we are. Basically, he's heading for the harbour. I'm not sure if he's trying to escape or what, but yeah. This this one mission 17 is the one that's in the demo. So if you want to try the game's demo out, this is what you'll be doing. Yeah. So we don't know what this guy's up to. We have to find out. Now, so far we've had the God of Thunder, and a legendary soldier, you know, like people like that, are helping us out doing this, going on all these stealth missions. So, I feel like it's time to go a bit more down to earth with Johnny Cage. Yeah. Please welcome Mr. John Carlton, the blue eyed actor from Venice, California. Now, <laughs> yeah, I, I love Johnny Cage. He's. It was seriously like the best thing in MK2011. I mean, it's not hard, but he really did just make the entire experience a, a lot less shit. Because he was just so fucking hilarious. Like, the, the guy who played him really does deserve, like, props. Such a great performance. Johnny Cage, murderer of dogs. Now, if you need context for this, I, I guess you can always say this is just... Some film Johnny's starring in, because he did star in a. F oh! Oh ho ho, I know what this is now. I'm a ninja, but I don't speak. And I'm Johnny Cage. Long time fans of Mortal Kombat will know that Johnny Cage starred in a film called Ninja Mime. This is that movie. I am playing Ninja Mime, the video game. Oh shit. Fight Mortal Kombat. But I have also realised that I was a complete tit last time because I was playing as Ryu from Ninja Gaiden and this game basically just takes his signature move that isn't a drop. But I did not use it. I'm just going to quickly make a, make a rice ball because I may need it later. I probably should have equipped myself with some weapons as well because that would have been helpful. Now, back on the hunt. What? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, that guy. I remember him now. He's like, I'm just here on the side of this, other side of this wall. I quite like this map, too. You know? Oh, 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 what was that? What was that? Ooh. Not really sure what it does, but yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, so... But, but speaking of Mortal Kombat, um, I've also got... I got Injustice for Christmas. And I was actually going to have the first thing... First like, video I uploaded onto my Let's Play channel be Injustice. Because, you know, I got it for Christmas. Uh, first video on Christmas. I was like, that would make sense. But uh, it was actually kind of boring. But it was going on for about 25 minutes. I was, I was, I was playing through a Scorpion. Because, well, why would I play through as anyone else? But it was going for like 25 minutes and nothing really interesting was happening. Because really like every fight is the same. The victory poles are always the same. Most of the time I was doing the super move because, well, might as well. It's a bit samey. You know, it's, 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 it's probably better that I didn't actually finish that. No! Oh shit, he's a civvy. I'm not allowed to kill him. Fuck, fuck it, I'll, I was going to say I'll do it anyway, but, yeah. Now, here's something interesting. Oh, shit. So, this this game came out 2007, I believe. Right, and I am a ninja, and a lot of these dudes here, this, this is Samurai there, but quite a few of these guys are pirates. So this would have been just around the time the whole ninjas versus pirates thing was a big thing on the internet. 
You know, one of the stupidest fucking things people ever came up with. And yeah, so maybe that had an impact on the stage. Whoa. I actually went past him there, but it still worked. Now, this pirate looks kind of effeminate. He's, he's actually using the women walk animations. You can tell by the way he's moving his legs because, well, they would have their kimonos and they move that way to... Well, because it's more efficient that way. I'm not sure if he's a civvy, but... Yep, he is. He's a civvy. I'm going to get bollocks for that. Okay. I was hoping to knock him into the water, but okay. Oh, no! Shit. Yes! It's a shame we can't actually fight him hand to hand. Because that would be awesome. Do you see if he just throws a shuriken at me? Stage fatality. <laughs> well, he's dead. Oh, that actually got him quick enough. I'm not going to get a very good rank at the end of this one because I've been seen two times now. So I'm prob Whoa! So probably the best I'm going to get is... Um So probably the best I'm going to get is um, Ninja 4, but I did also kill that civilian before. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, he saw me. What a cunt. Huh, I thought I had the white boots equipped. Oh, wait, are these the white boots? No, I think they're the, no, they're the black ones. Hmm. I really do want a sequel to this with much more in-depth customization. Especially if you... Damn it. Fuck, it'll just kill me in a fight. Yeah, I'd like to see more in-depth customization, especially if, if um, that includes um, being able to customize the partner. Or I may be able to do more with the partner, like... Hell, maybe you'll let us play as the partner. That could have been cool instead of just being one protagonist. There are two. And not just a case of, oh, one of the protagonists is playable, one's not. No, you can actually fully customise both of them and plays them both. Nope. You shut your mouth, bitch. Now, this is where things are going to get a little more difficult. But it also gets interesting here. So I kill this guy. I think that's everyone in the level dead now, so... I don't think there'd be any interference anyway, but... Yeah. And look. Once again, I've arrived and stuff is going on. And I'm apparently not there yet. There I am. And this is Shigi, I believe his name is. Yeah. He is, in fact, the first boss. So I'm just going to get out of here. Because there is actually a little trick to beating him. Now I think I said this in episode 1. I may be wrong. But. Yeah. I said it in at least one version of episode 1. But every single enemy. Die, immediately dies upon contact with water. And that even includes the bosses. So, if there happens to be water around when you're fighting a boss, knock him in the water and you instantly win. It's great. It's like you don't even, so it just makes uh, playing through it on the hardest difficulty a lot easier. A lot easier. A worthy foe. Yeah, so the same up as like the rival character, but I don't think he appears again until the end. I mean, he might do, but I don't recall him doing so. But yeah, so I beat him. Ninja 3, to be expected. So, but yeah, so that was Shiggy. Uh, 
bit of a dick, honestly. But yeah, so I beat him. I don't recall him coming up, coming back again until near the end of the game. So let's go get another mission. I'm gonna pretend that never happened. Purge the foreigners. That don't sound right, does it? <laughs> they are foreign. They must be killed. I was even like spinning it in another way, like I don't know the foreign something to say, oh, they're helping other people. Abducting people, selling them to servitude. You know, that's it. The, the, the foreign um, slave traders. That could work. But no, it's just purge the foreigners. It's like if, you, if the people are foreign, they have to die. That's not right. That sounds incredibly racist. But this is Japan we're talking about, and they're not. You know, they're not exactly the most uh, racially sensitive nation on the planet. But it does lead to an interesting scenario in which. They've sent an American to purge the foreigners. Instead of, you know, dealing with themselves, they are sending a foreigner to kill the foreigners. I mean, is that like the KKK hiring a black dude to do the terror shit? You know? It's... F you know, you might say it's a bit much comparing them to the like the KKK or something, but when you're having a, mi a mission called Purge the Foreigners, it's kind of hard not to make that kind of comparison. Anyway, let's move away from this race discussion that I'm having with me and no one else, because no one else is in the room. And move on to something a bit more lighthearted, like cold-blooded murder. All right. So Johnny Cage is going to go kill this fucker. Oh, and I got him. I didn't even think I'd be able to pull that off. But I did. W one thing I think is a shame about this this Johnny Cage that I've made. Well, aside from the fact I can't get the black pants. That would be cool. Is, is also the fact that, well, I can't get his name tattooed on his chest. I mean, that's, that's like the best thing. That's one of the best things he did. With the character redesigns in NK 2011, had Johnny Cage tattoo his name on his chest because it fits him so well. All right, let's let's, let's just not fuck this one up. I'm gonna fuck it up somehow. I can tell. Oh, what is this falling water? You piece of shit. There we go. Now, let's see. Whoa, coming from the left. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're on the other side too. So I'll just go around. Oh, wait, what? Shit, there's a woman there. Oh, this is going to make things way more complicated. I know. Rooftop antics. Let's just see how it goes from up here. Wee. Actually, could make a beeline right for that fucker. Boom. And he has a unique death cry because he's foreign. But yes, the foreigners have been purged by the other foreigner. Ninja 5! Yep. My complete cowardice got me a better rank. Well done. <laughs> so, we should have time for one more mission before Johnny Cage unfortunately has to return, meet up with Raiden, and make some funny wisecracks about taking Sony out for dinner. Kill the unworthy monk. Wait, they already did one about an unworthy monk dinner. Uh, corrupt official. It wasn't him. Shameful monk. I see. So that was a shameful monk. This one is an unworthy monk. Is there really a difference? I mean, if a monk is shameful, does that make him unworthy? 
And being unworthy is kind of shameful in itself. Goken. Is that like what happens if Goku does the fusion dance with Goten? Yeah, so we steal donations so he can gamble. It's only how they have so many scumbags. Like, there's that many Tenchu games, and like pretty much everyone you have to kill is not just an enemy in a, from another con country, but an actual complete scumbag like this guy. And it's like, it's amazing that there's any of these assholes left. That's kind of the kind of the thing with the with. It's like Assassin's Creed, really. The fact that the, that the assassins are supposed to be like constantly like the underdogs. And then you look at how many fucking guys you kill in those games. And it's like, how are there any of these guys left at this point? So, let's see what mayhem we can cause. So there's this guy over here. Oh shit, no! I fucked it up. But, I'm gonna finish with Mortal Kombat. Though I don't believe Johnny Cage ever had a sword. No, he did have a sword in MK4. Because most of the weapons of characters had in that were just swords. Peace, bitches. So, yeah. He had a sword in MK4, so... Oh, shit. Fake Raiden? Johnny Cage is a good friend of Raiden. He, was, he would not... He is not pleased with people pretending to be his friend. Because Raiden, while a bit thick, is a decent guy. And at the end of MK2011, Johnny Cage didn't have many friends left because, well, the MK writers are fucking retards and decided to kill everyone off. So Johnny don't have many friends left, so he gets very protective of them. When you impersonate them, he will fucking destroy you. Because damn it, he's Johnny Cage. Come on. But Johnny Cage just makes everything better. Like he was like he and Raiden were the best characters in the first Mortal Kombat movie. Johnny Cage had probably the I'd say probably the best episode of Mortal Kombat Legacy. Um, even if you got screwed over in MK Rebirth before that, and Annihilation, and MK3. Yeah. But, he makes everything better. MK 2011, he had the best episode of Legacy. He was the best character in the movie. I mean, Lyndon Ashby was fucking amazing in that movie. I don't think anyone would dispute that. I mean, I mean it's a good... Th yeah, it's funny because he was supposed to be played by Jean-Claude Van Damme of all people. I mean, I know Johnny Cage was... Big jump there. I mean, I know Jean-Claude Van Damme is, was the basis for Johnny Cage, but... I, it, it's just bizarre. Like, not as bizarre as getting as getting uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme to play Guile, the all-American American, but even so, it's, it's a good thing they got Lyndon Ashby instead, because Lyndon Ashby was made for that role. It's just, just a shame that he never got a chance to play the character again. I actually saw this... this uh, awesome video where he was on some um, talk show. I think it was like within the last five years and they were discussing stuff and Mortal Kombat came up and like shit. And he, and, uh, he mentioned how his daughter apparently uh, like people were like, oh my dad could beat up your dad. And she'd be like, your dad can beat up my dad? He's Johnny Cage. And it's like, that's awesome. Yeah, so basically, this has mostly been talking about John Cage instead of just talking about Tenchu. Well, to be fair, it's Johnny Cage, you know? It's like, with Johnny Cage in the room, everything becomes about him because she's that fucking cool. Oh, it's a woman? Shit. Alright, let's just, just take this fucker out. That's... Fixes one problem. 
Oh, dude nearby. Oh. We. Oh shit. Dog. Dog. I have been found by a dog. Whoa. I wasn't even close enough to do a, to do a stealth kill there. But somehow I did it. Okay. Wait, why why did I bother going round? I know where the guy is. What the hell am I doing? I mean, the game didn't show me where he was, but it, sh it showed me a room that he's most likely in. I mean, for a start, most of the time when you're going through a level, the, the guy will be in that same spot. He's yawning. How did he not hear me? Oh, well. All that matters is that he died. And everything is okay. And I got seen so many times in that level. Like two or three times. I still got Ninja Fire rank. I guess the game was just worried about offending Johnny Cage by giving a lower rank. But that is the end of episode six, I think. I'm <laughs> kind of losing track. I think it's six. But yeah, this... Eh, all right looking Johnny Cage has to go now oh yeah one last thing I actually changed the hair color from the after the first episode or was it after the first episode of the original attempt oh never mind that then <laughs>